today, I haven't done in a very long time, uh, which is put up some slides. After a long time, I've not in church for a very long time. And the reason is that I was challenged to a, a few weeks ago. I was talking about, I like scriptural verses that are a bit kind of off the beaten track. So the things like, so is this in the Bible, do you think? That's not happening, I'm making it up out of the way. It's absolutely in scripture. And who said it? Nehemiah. Not really Nehemiah. Sambalat the Horonite. Sambalat the Horonite, from his name, could be all that. Clearly, clearly, Sambalat the Horonite is clearly about him. And he accused Nehemiah of all sorts of things. And Nehemiah said, nothing like that's happening, you're making it up out of the way. So I like that kind of way of thing. I was also talking, they took me to Lynn and Lee, um, and talking about, I don't know why we were talking about lions, but we were talking about lions, um, and they said, um, I said, oh, you know, it's this chap who chased a lion into a pit on a snowy day. And they go, no, that's not the Bible. Um, it is. So I prepared, I, I, I said, I finished the Bible once years ago, and I couldn't find my notes, and you can keep all my notes together in one place. And then what I found was not a set of notes, but a set of slides. Um, so that was uh, a little bit different. So when I came to prepare it, I've got this sort of a headline. So um, those going to, so I don't have a remote control, which is just a, a, kind of a wave or a nod or a next slide, please. Um, and so you put the whole title page up if you like, but it says, Tracing Your Lions, How Brave Are You? At least I think that's. Facing our lives. So I want to talk a little bit about that. Let me read 2 Samuel chapter 23 to you. There was also Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, a valiant warrior from Kazir. He did many heroic deeds, which included killing two champions of Moab. Another time, on a snowy day, he chased a lion down into a pit and killed it. Once, armed only with a club, he killed a great Egyptian warrior who was armed with a spear. Benaiah wrenched the spear from the Egyptian's hand and killed him in it. Deeds like this made Benaiah as famous as the three mightiest warriors, and David made him captain of his bodyguard. So, there is a story about a man who chased a lion into a pit on a snowy day. Would you believe it? There's a resource in the Bible. You wouldn't believe somewhere. Somewhere, a man comes back to life three days after being married. He would believe that. So, my hope today is to encourage you. We talk about courage, and so do put the next slide up. And encouragement is more than just affirmation. So I'm not going to be saying, you are great and wonderful, but I, I want to make sure that we are all full of courage. Want to impart courage. So can you see the next slide? So if you can see the next slide, I'm asking Dave particularly, if you can see the next slide, you can probably follow most of it. Or just read. Oh no, so perfect. We're trying to impart courage um, and, to, uh, and to make sure that we ask this question. What does it take to scare you? How do you easily scare you? What causes you to lose heart? What causes you to be discouraged? have your courage taken away from you. So let me ask you a few questions. Are you scared of the dark? Kids can be scared of the dark. Anyone, anyone scared of the dark? Turn on the dark out and think, no, I don't know that. Be proud to have being lost when you're around and about. I mean, some of you are now just do things like go to Jordan on holiday and take kids and it's used to say you don't get lost. Past holiday in the Are you scared of mice? Anyone scared of mice? Maybe? Are you worried about speed? Do you not like going fast? Does anyone like going fast? Does a general woman seem to be like going fast, whether that's you know, driving fast, so when you should? Or on your bike, going to pond down hills, um, 
the skateboard, use the skateboard goes on the and the skate park and just flips and backflips and shit on. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. 
judgment day. What is the worst that can happen? May God be against me. What's the worst that can happen to a Christian if we spend all our time in here, time worrying about this life? And we're uh, missing out on God's promise to us, which isn't really just for this life, but it's very much for all eternity. So when people say they're worried about reaching the end of life, my question is, so what's your plan for afterwards? Do you want to have a plan for that? Daniel met some lions. Daniel met a few lions. Um, he wasn't given much choice to be fair, was it? His only option was to stop worshipping so I'm saying that's only who else will not cry out to worship. God promises the, that if we stop worshiping, the rocks and stones will tell to stop the same. So Daniel clearly had a choice. And then he might have been scared. It seems unlikely that he would just walk to take away his temptation. He was probably scared. And he asked God for protection. And God stopped the mouths of the lions. Imagine if you're a lion and you're in a pit with two of your friends and some food is there, so a family is there in it. And you think, okay, can you go for it? And, uh, and you think, well, first I've got a lamb here, so I'm kind of ready for some battle, okay? Um, you think you might feel like going for it. It doesn't say, thank God, put the lions to sleep in the pit. It just stopped their mouths. Imagine how frustrating it must be as a lion. You know, the food has been thrown in, and you're there going hungry. Okay. Must have been quite annoying. As a lion, you'd still kind of pace around and kind of look at this, this Daniel thing. Or do you? So he did still spend the night with frustrated lions. Probably terrified. And asked God for protection. And God did. He came out unscathed. And do you know that Daniel went on to great things? And that experience part of the test that led him on to greater things. King David talks about lions. When the, he kind of picked a fight with some lions, and it's optional really, because he's, he's talking about this when he's talking about being a shepherd boy. He's talking about um, protecting the flock. And he, and he says, I, I, have, I have killed bears and lions. into a pit, chased the lion into a pit on a snowy day. It doesn't really get to these details in the scripture, but on a snowy day, maybe he would have been scared on a night on a snowy day. Seems unlikely. But we get the story. Do you think he was terrified? He's probably the one who had an animal. Things because he became part of King David's bodyguard, uh, which was a, 
this is John. I'll tell you. So what do these men have in common? They're all metal lions. They're all very different lions, you know. But I suspect they were all a bit kind of, the stories sound heroic, but I've never met somebody who looked to be at least a little bit apprehensive about using a lion. We sort of drifted away from them, but lions are only over. Uh, and there's some of you, I mean, obviously you all know it's just a picture, but I'm sure some of you kind of felt a slightly visceral thing. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't want to meet that in real life. Um, so I suspect they were all a bit scared, but they kept going when they were scared. David, 12 years old, lions coming to use his flock. Well, his dad would have shown him previously, so I think it was probably just a piece of that. Uh, or whatever, I don't think it's too specific. Um, and so, God is faithful. But courage is not about not being afraid. We've done our afraid, we've done. We 
they decided, I'm not concerned with banana fame. Hang on. Could have been a spider last weekend. Or maybe banana is the exception. But courage is not about having no fear. It's about keeping despite the fear. I think when somebody says to me this morning,
back of their own skill work. And God will not call you to something that causes you to have blind faith. Faith in us. There's so many problems in the matters. That's not all I'm sure about here. But mostly, God calls us to serve him. And God will provide. I'm not going to trust you if you have any more to think about any other story.